Hello, Christ is in our midst. I'm Father Kevin Long of St. Elias Antioch and Orthodox Church in Newcastle, Pennsylvania. Today's Sunday, August 18th, 2024, and here are the readings for today. A reading from St. Paul's first letter to the Corinthians, chapter 1, verses 10 through 17. Brethren, I appeal to you by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that all of you agree, and that there be no dissensions among you, but that you be united in the same mind and the same judgment. For it has been reported to me by Chloe's people that there is quarreling among you, my brethren. What I mean is that each one of you says, I belong to Paul, or I belong to Apollos, or I belong to Cephas, or I belong to Christ. Is Christ divided? Was Paul crucified for you? Or were you baptized in the name of Paul? I thank God that I baptized none of you except Crispos and Gaius, lest anyone should say that you were baptized in my name. I did baptize also the house of Stephanus. Beyond that, I do not know whether I baptized anyone else. For Christ did not send me to baptize, but to preach the gospel, and not with eloquent wisdom, lest the cross of Christ be emptied of its power. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 14, verses 14 through 22. Let us be attentive. At that time, Jesus saw a great throng, and he had compassion on them and healed their sick. When it was evening, the disciples came to him and said, This is a lonely place, and the day is now over. Send the crowds away to go into the villages to buy food for themselves. Jesus said, They need not go away. You give them something to eat. They said to him, We have only five loaves here and two fish. And he said, Bring them here to me. Then he ordered the crowds to sit down on the grass, and taking the five loaves and the two fish, he looked up to heaven and blessed, and broke and gave the loaves to the crowds. And they all ate and were satisfied, And they took up twelve baskets full of the broken pieces left over. And those who ate were about five thousand men, besides women and children. Then he made the disciples get into the boat and go before him to the other side, while he dismissed the crowds. Glory to thee, our God. Glory to thee. Today's gospel is a famous one about the story of the feeding of the multitude through five loaves and two fish. What are we to make of this? It is a constant reminder that our Lord provides. That's one of the things that we can conclude from this passage. He is the Lord of all of creation. And this shows amply by the fact that he is able to take that small amount of food and bless it and multiply it so that the whole throng is fed with the food that was provided. That shows very clearly how God does provide. There's another point that we can take from this too, that not only is he the nourisher of our bodies, but he's also the nourisher of our souls. He doesn't want those people to leave. He wants them to stay so that he can continue to teach them, to continue to give them the words that are needed for them to find their way to the kingdom of heaven. He wants to help guide them, to get them to understand his father, the creator of all things, the begetter, and also to understand the nature of their relationship both to God the Father and to one another. These are at the heart of the gospel message that our Lord gives to those people who follow him. Another point, if you think about it, it is very hard to learn to acquire any kind of knowledge when you're hungry. Think about when you were a student, if you came to school without a breakfast, Your hunger probably kept you from paying full attention to the lessons that you were being given by your teacher. And the same continues at lunch. If you are hungry, you're not going to be paying any attention to what the teacher is saying. You're going to be watching the clock and eagerly awaiting whatever bounty there is at lunch. As a worker, 
it is really difficult to keep focus at the end of the day when one's mind is really set on dinner time and not on whatever it is that boss or whoever wants from them in the 11th hour of the work day. So in all of these things, food and satisfaction with having been fed play a central role in getting work done and in learning the lessons that are being provided. So what our Lord is doing is making sure that everyone who has ears to hear the words that he has to impart to them has been fed to satisfaction physically so that their ears then can hear the good news, the messages that are important so that their souls can be fed to satisfaction. This is the way that our Lord provides. He's not there just to create a miracle, although that miracle is very important and demonstrates his ability over creation. But more importantly, he is using that miracle to further the gospel message to us all so that we can get words of life from him and through the eyewitnesses who have seen what he has done and continue to speak about his mighty acts. When we understand all of those things, we learn a little bit more about just who our Lord is, how he operates, and what it is that he wants us to do. We, in like manner, in order to teach, should make sure that the people that we serve are sufficiently fed. We should make sure that they lack nothing urgent in their lives, because it is very hard to teach a hungry person. And so with these things in mind, then, we pay attention to today's, to today's message, and we pray that God will help us develop the awareness and the sensitivity that we may go and serve our neighbor, just as our Lord served the 5,000 in the feeding of them through the five loaves and two fish. Well, I pray that God will bless you and everyone you love today and always. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Thank you for joining me. Have a great day. And God willing, we'll see you tomorrow.